Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today on Ubix Toys, I'm going to go through an Integrity Toys special online event, which has replaced the Dolly Days from the past years. In fact, this year it's replaced by the Dolly Fridays. I will show you in detail the eight dolls presented during the last three Fridays of January. The dolls are pretty cool and are available via a variety of purchase methods as IT direct right to buy lotteries or through authorized Integrity Toys dealers. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments which doll is your favorite. Okay, let's begin. So, on the first Friday, the first doll revealed was the fourth W Club exclusive of the 2022 membership year. His name is Tajinder Chowdhury, titled Metropolitan Adventurer. He's designed by Vaughn Sawyer for the Monarchs Online. This new version of Tajinder is the second incarnation we have so far. Here is the first version of the 2020 that I own. And honestly, this adventurer, even if he looks nice, he's not for me. I like his outfit, but he's a little boring in my opinion. And his screening looks bad to me. However, I do like his hair because you can play with it and give it easily other looks. He shares his sculpt with the Callum character. And for me, in this incarnation, he looks more like Callum than Tanjinder. But it's just my opinion. His skin tone is sun-kissed and his hair color is caramel blend. He has the UM 1.5 body type. His accessories are nice, but the grey colour of his bag and shoes make it weird for this travelling theme. Surprisingly, the price is a little lower than usual, $165. The price is nice for what we get, and for those who want to get him. So, what do you think of him? Is he travelling to your home? On the second Friday, Integrity Toys unveiled a new collection of six dolls from the brand new Trueline. What a fun, colourful, youthful and refreshing collection with a lot of mix and match pieces. They're all designed by David Butchery and Mark Tinky. They did a great job of reviving the Dynamite Girls brand from a decade ago, mixed with the industry dolls. Indeed, True is a reworking of the industry line with Tula Bell. We find characters who appear in the Dynamite Girls line with a more current look and the return of some characters. I never bought a doll from the Dynamite line because I always found them too basic, cartoonish, with their smiling faces. On the other hand, Industry was a better line for me, with a more urban streetwear look, and more fashion faces. Before seeing each of them in detail, here is the promo pictures of the teaser Tula Belle, who was unveiled a few months ago. She was intended to be a standalone doll, but she certainly could be part of this collection. I pre-ordered her, well, because she's too cute. Okay, the first doll to be revealed was Hollis Hughes, titled Very Necessary. First reaction, I like her and she reminds me of some girls from the Meteor line. I already own this character who was sold during the Stylab 2018 Luke's Life Convention, and she's great. This time, even if her outfit is pretty, her close-up picture stopped a little bit my enthusiasm. I think it's the eye screening that bothers me. Her head looks much bigger than the other dolls too. Anyway, I passed on her. Her accessories are cool with the inspired Viton bag, but not more than that. For your information, each female doll has both sets of feet, high heels and articulated flat feet, so they can share shoes with each other. Her skin tone is FR black and her hair color is dark brown mix. She's available through authorized Integrity Toys dealers. Each doll of this collection is limited to 800 pieces worldwide and cost $165. The second doll is Tula Belle True, titled Big Love. What can I say? I'm in love with her. She's gorgeous and her entire look is fabulous with her pink fantasy hair and her attitude. I'm really obsessed with her. She's everything. I only have one Tula Belle in my collection. Devil made me do it. And she's from the 2019 Fashion Week convention. Her skin tone is sun-kissed and it's a first time. Her hair color is bright pink. As David said, she has a new screening, a brand new look. Her boots look incredible. For your information, they are made for the flat foot lower leg. And these little acrylic puffed heart earrings are very cute. This look is very vintage from the 70s and very trendy. She's available through authorized Integrity Toys dealers. Here is Lulu Ling titled Shut It Down. The third doll, a character from the industry line. To be honest, I'm not really fond of her sculpt, which was just a lack of depth and feels a little blank. Here are her two previous incarnations. This time she's kinda cute in a way. 
but she has a playline face and looks like a Barbie to me. No offense. Such a pity she could be to die for with the use of another Asian character, even a new face sculpt. But her look, wow. This outfit is really great and colorful. It reminds me of some kind of K-pop ones, especially with Jenny from Blackpink or Sumi. I love the tropper hat, so trendy, and the fox pin included is a nice addition. The tennis shoes and earrings are very fun accessories. I love the custom printed vinyl bag too. Her skin tone is F or white and her hair color is black. She's available through Integrity Toys dealers too. The fourth doll presented is Tate Tanaka, titled Drop That Ish. He's so handsome. I have no Tate in my OM collection and I've been waiting for his comeback since a long time. I'm not disappointed at all. He's a must have. Here are some previous Tates. He's one of collectors' favorite characters. And this one is already out of stock everywhere. He has a beautiful male sculpt in an Hungarian skin tone. And he has a little black velvet flocking hair. I just love the t-shirt with the manga print, so awesome. The long sleeve shirt in a golden plaid pattern matches the teddy backpack. We already saw two bear shaped bags in the past, but it's always fun to see new ones. The denim vest and the orange corduroy pants with the cargo pockets are great too. And let's talk about his accessories, just fabulous. Love the multicolored sneakers and the faux fur bucket hat. His necklace and watch seem to be brand new too. Everything is top notch. Here is the fifth doll unveiled and she's a lottery one. Her name is Jasper Jagger titled Hurts Like Heaven. She's a comeback from the Dynamite Girls line. Well, I don't like her. She's too cartoonish and playline. She definitely will not fit in my collection. Her eye makeup looks good but I never liked her mouth shape. However, some pieces of her outfit are nicely done. I really like her anorak coat. Her bubble dress and her baby blue printed t-shirt are beautiful too, but that's all. She has the Japan skin tone and light blonde hair color. The last doll of the collection is a new guy. His name is Odin Adler, titled Mr. Brightside. His look is very hippie style from the early 70s. I have no Odin in my collection. So when I saw him, my first impression was, yeah, I have to get him. His outfit and accessories look great with these distressed jeans, the corduroy jacket, the custom sweater, the hello tote bag. On the other hand, his shoes are ugly and I'm not really fond of his face. So I decided to pass on him because of my budget. He has the F4 white skin tone and light blonde hair color. I love all the clothes and accessories. As the designer said, this collection is a mix of 70s, vintage and nowadays fashion pieces coming from different fashion trends. This collection will be available in late summer 2023. My faves from the group are Tulabel from the entire package, Lulu for her outfit and Tate that I just love. And I'm confirmed for all three of them. I'm too happy. However, I didn't try the lotteries. Thanks Mark and David for this new line and fun collection. I'm already looking forward to seeing the next one and the other characters and styles. On the final Friday was unveiled the fifth and final W Club exclusive doll, Poppy Parker titled Pretty Pink. What? I don't get it. A third W Club Poppy? Don't get me wrong, she's absolutely gorgeous, but a Poppy again? Doesn't she need a little break? This time I was really hoping for a fashion royalty doll like many W Club members. But to be honest, they never didn't promise what line we would get in 2022. They told us five additional guaranteed exclusives will be available throughout the year, but the specific brands are not guaranteed. Anyway, this poppy is just amazing and sophisticated. I'm so happy that Jessie worked on her. Actually, this is the first Poppy Parker doll designed by a designer other than David Buttery. So Jessie is back, yay. I hope 2023 will bring us a lot of new face and FR dolls from Jessie. Okay, let's get back to her. She looks adorable. I love everything about her. This unusual hairstyle with the headband is very interesting. Her screening is gorgeous. She has the Japan skin tone and her hair color is called dark blonde. The color palette of her makeup is beautiful. She has a similar look of the young sophisticated puppy, which is the Berkdorf screening. 
And as I don't have the full Bergdorf screening in my collection, this one will come in my house. Her outfit pieces and accessories are very pretty. I love the different looks. We can also note that the price of $165 is rather reasonable for a puppy mini gift set. Jessie just killed it with this puppy once again, great job. I like when the designers cross over doll lines because they do unexpected things and it was very refreshing. And this puppy designed by Jessie is a really good example of her more different and modern look. This is the first W Club exclusive doll I plan to order this year. I passed on the four previous W Club dolls. Voila, no more Dolly Fridays for now. So, what do you think of these new dolls? What are your favorites? What did you like or not like? Don't hesitate to comment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recap of the Dolly Fridays 2023 event of Integrity Toys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay tuned, I'll see you soon to unbox some of these dolls. Bye for now.